So, <sighs> good day, good night. I wanted to get some reading in before I do something. So, I have this case here. Judd versus City Trust and Savings Bank. Coming out of Ohio Supreme Court from 1937. So this was filed December 15, 1937. And it says a presidential status, it's presidential, presidential citation. Go through that. Doc number 26338. The author is Charles Ballard Zimmerman. So, let us begin a little reading for you and me. At the onset of this opinion, two general propositions must be conceded. One, in Ohio, the power to regulate, control, and define the practice of law reposes in the judicial branch of the government. For Ohio jurisprudence, 423, Section 5, Land Title Abstract Trust Company, or CO dot v dot Dworkin versus Dworkin 129 Ohio State 23193 n dot e dot 650 oh. and this is true elsewhere so the power to regulate, control, and define the practice of law reposes in the judicial branch of the government. And this is true elsewhere. C. In the opinion of the just Justice 289 Mass. 607, 194. N dot E dot three one three comma and cases there incited. Number two, a corporation cannot lawfully engage in the practice of law, nor can it do so indirectly through the employment of qualified lawyers. Land Title Abstract Trust Comp Company versus page 86 Dworkin Supra Section 8623-3 General Code of Ohio for Ohio Jewish Prudence 429 Section 12, 10 Hawaii Jurisprudence, 888, Section 663, 5 American Jurisprudence, 276, Section 25. In the disposition of this case, upon the record, there are two questions to be answered they will be stated and discussed separately the first is as follows are state banks in ohio having trust powers engage in the unauthorized practice of law when through regularly employed and salaried officers and employees who are generally attorneys 
at law admitted to practice in Ohio. They prepare and draft wills, trust agreements, and contracts for their customers and patrons, in which instruments the banks are named in fiduciary capacities. The leading case in this state relating to the unauthorized practice of law is Land Title Abstract Trust Company versus Dworkin Supra. There, in the first paragraph of the syllabus, the following rule is announced. One, the practice of law is not limited to the conduct of cases in court. It embraces the preparation of pleadings and other papers incident to actions and special proceedings and the management of such actions and proceedings on behalf of clients before judges and courts. And in addition, conveyancing the preparation of legal instruments of all kinds and in general all advice to clients and all action taken for them in matters connected with the law. And that will end this first part here. Tune in for uh, the next reading of this. I will continue on to the next. And you, of course, you are welcome to find this case and read it for yourself. Until next time, peace.